Welcome everyone. Today we have got a hips and lower back session. We are going to be really focusing on those targeted areas and trying to get in a nice deep release. So if you've been bunched up at our office or that home work from home life, we're going to try and loosen yourselves up. So we're going to get into it. Everyone to the back of their mat. Like I said, it's going to be a hips and lower back session, but we're still starting with our good old favorite thumbs to sternum, lunge and twist. Let's get going. I'm starting the timer on the screen behind me. When it's green, it means go. When it's red, we're most likely in between poses and we're going to be holding each pose for up to a minute. Really focusing on getting in that deep release. And while we're doing this lunge and twist, remember, keeping that chest up, but you're not rolling through the upper back. What I don't want to see is this, when we're doing the lunge and twist, where the barrel rounding is in the upper part of the back. Avoid that at all costs, lift up through the chest, thumbs to sternum, and then let that back knee glide across the ground. It doesn't have to touch the floor. If you want to make it that touch harder, we're just here for one minute in total. And then we're going to go into some walkouts to get the wrist nice and warm. Well, there's not going to be a very wrist intensive session today. You'll be happy to know. More of the lower body. And last one here. So now let's come into some walkouts. So rolling the hands forwards, rolling the hands back, nice and slowly. Do it with a minimum bend in the knees if possible. So try to avoid bending in the knees, hinging at the hips, and then standing up nice and tall every single time. So coming all the way down into that plank, minimum bend in the knees, standing up really tall, and then coming back down. This is just our warm up for our stretch. So although we're just gonna be going into a nice gentle releasing session for today, it's still important that we prime our body for these moves. Now for the last two walkouts, let's just reach as far out as we can with both arms. So it's gonna be an extended plank and you're just gonna go a little bit slower. When you get towards that end range, just make it a little bit smaller, crawling out a little bit further, a little bit further, a little bit further, until you can't, hold it there, squeeze the bum, squeeze the core, squeeze the quads, and come back, perfect. Okay, so one more there, nice and tall, and then let's go all the way. Last one here. And brilliant, okay, hands under the shoulders. We're just gonna come right into a pigeon, right away. So what I want you to do is first off, let's come into a low lunge on the right hand side, right leg up to the right hand, and then from here, drop the back knee, Lift up through the chest, hands on the hips, and just drift forward a little bit, feeling that deep stretch in the front and the back leg. And then we're just gonna come into a quick pigeon on the right hand side, just to feel that deepness. Don't force it. So hands come down to the ground, and then you're gonna bring your right foot towards your left hand, and you can put a pillow under your hips here, slide that back leg even further back, and work on keeping the chest up. See if you can bring that left, that ankle out a little bit higher, so it's at 90 degrees. So we're in a nice pigeon, I'm supporting myself with my left hand on my right foot. And we're just keeping that chest up, we don't have to be really deep into this pose. And then we're just gonna come right back into a plank in a moment, hands either side, tuck the toes right back into a plank, and we're going to repeat that on the other side. So low lunge on the left hand side, throw that left leg up nice and high. That's the one. And then when the left legs come up nice and high, work on getting that chest up, drop the back knee, hands to hip. Just feel that deep stretch for a moment. It should be feeling a little bit stiff. That's fine. This is just a nice ballistic way of getting into it. And now we're going to come into that pigeon pose, so hands back down to the ground. And then you're going to bring that ankle, the front ankle, to your right hand. And you can support yourself with your hand on your foot here. And the aim is not to try round through the back here. 
So we're trying to stay lifted through the chest. You can support yourself with your hand on your knee, your hand on your foot. We're staying lifted in the chest. It should feel like a deep stretch. Don't worry if your hips aren't on the ground. They don't need to be. You can always place pillows underneath your hips to make it a bit more accommodating. And let's come right back into a plank. Brilliant work on those quick pigeons. And now we're just gonna make those gentle little circles around the wrist, five times one direction, five times the other. You can do this on the knees and tabletop position, but we are gonna get there in a moment. Just five times one way, five times the other. Uh, brilliant, drop down to the knees. And now let's just go in for a reverse press up. So we're staying on the knees. This wants to feel like a strain in the forearms. Your hands are gonna now face towards you. So you're turning them upside down. The palms are facing towards your chest. And then from here, you're gonna bend the elbows out and away from the body. And then we're concentrating on the straightening of the arms at the top. Not so much the motion of your body coming down to the ground but more of the nice straight arms at the top with that lovely flat back in this tabletop position. It should feel like a bit of a strain in the forearms. You may be just happy staying here, rocking gently left to right. If you want to deepen it, go in for that press and aim for around five to 10 of these presses with your head tapping the floor. Those of you who want to make it a bit harder, just shuffle your legs a bit further back, change it a bit more into a press up. Keeping the hands stacked under the shoulders. Last couple yet. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna lay down on the ground soon. And last three, two, and one. Okay, so I just want you to reach your arms forwards, keep the hips high, and then sink the chest low. And just hold it there for pause. Just breathing deep. And then I just want your hips to shuffle all the way back really slowly so that you're sat onto your ankles while we're letting the arms drive forwards. And let's come into that first move where we're now gonna just cross the legs from under you. You're gonna come into a laying down position and we're going to tuck both the knees into the chest really hard. And we're here for a minute. Both the knees are tucking into the chest. I want you to draw circles with your knees here, how we would normally do in a cool down. Just four times one way, four times the other. Big old circles. And then soon we're going to really try and deepen this just by kicking out one leg at a time. But right now, just concentrate on hitting all those different areas in your back by pulsing the knees in and out to the chest, using your arms to loosen up that lower back. Maybe you're adding a gentle rock from left to right, a pulsing motion. The knees are just really staying tight in, your hands are helping them. And then we're just gonna really gently now, start to lower down the left leg. Really gently lower down the left leg and keep that right knee tucked in. And keep making those gentle little circles with the right knee while you're keeping the left leg flat on the floor. Try not to let that left leg peel off the ground. You're making some gentle little circles with that right knee around your body as if there's a biro tip on the end of your knee and you just want it to be making circles in the sky. We're gonna move this over to the other side in a moment. So let's lower down the right leg, tuck in the left. Pull it in really hard. And now let's start making those little circles. We should be loosening up the glute. And then soon we're gonna go into a really lovely side body, lower back release. We're just still loosening up those glutes, loosening up the lower back just by making those tight little circles. Change the direction every now and again. Always good to aim for around five to 10 reps in each direction. And then you can even just add in those gentle little pulsing, trying to 
tuck your tailbone underneath a little bit more. So now what I want us to do, go wide on the arms, keep the feet planted on the floor for a moment, ground yourself and get that tension in the lower back so you can, can't put your hands under your lower back. From here, we're now gonna cross our right ankle over the top of our left knee, yeah? And then with this, we're now gonna let our knees fall over to the left hand side while we face the right. So let the knees really slowly drift over to the left hand side while you're gonna look down the right. And we're just gonna hold this position for the next 20 seconds. If this is a lot for you, you don't have to have your ankle crossed over your knee. You can just have your knees tucked in together and let them drift over to the side. So let's come back up to the top of that position. And then we're just gonna really slowly lower back down into it one more time. If you wanna go for that different variation, try bringing your legs now to right angles. Otherwise stay where you are and just let the knees drift over to the left. We're staying on the same side for this round, looking down the right arm, and then use your core to bring yourself back up to center by tensing really hard in five seconds. Try to keep that upper body in contact with the floor, so tense up through the core, use it to really bring it in, and now let's move on to the other side really slowly. You're gonna lower down the feet, cross the left ankle over the right knee, and then we're gonna lower over to the right hand side while looking down the left. Everyone ready? Let's drift. Okay, so really slowly, lower yourself down. Looking down the left side, the knees dropping down to the right, feeling a deep twist in the body, in the back and just breathing nice and deeply, catching your breath. And then we're gonna use our core to bring us back to center. You can stay in this pose or you can change the variation by bringing your knees to right angles and then exactly the same again, let them drift over to the right hand side, looking down the left. Keeping that upper body in contact with the floor. And brilliant work here. So in a moment, we're just gonna lay down with both our legs nice and straight. We're just really loosening up that lower back at the moment. We've done a little bit of hips already. Tighten through the core, kick out both your legs. And then from here, I now want you to cross your right ankle over your left knee. Right ankles over the left knee, we're laying flat on the floor. And then we're gonna get in some leg lifts while getting in a little bit of a glute stretch here for the next 30 seconds. So bring your arms a little bit lower down so they're just about in line with the hips to support you. And we're aiming for around five to 10, lifting through the left leg and lowering back down, not letting that left leg touch the floor. Let's get five, there's two. Three. Four, peeling that tailbone under. And then on the fifth one, keep it up high. Hold it there. And now I want you to reach through your legs, bend the knee and just get a nice deep glute stretch here, keeping your shoulder blades snuggled on the floor, you're grabbing in front of your knee, and you're just getting in a deep glute stretch. That will, in return, help loosen up that lower back, because it's all about releasing the posterior chain. So in return, the muscles that are all interlinked can have a bit more release. Okay, let's lower down both legs to the floor. We're gonna repeat that on the other side. So let's cross our left ankle over our right knee. Get ready for five leg lifts. And then we'll go through and get that nice deep glute stretch around the 30 second margin. So brace through your upper body. Pin those shoulders down to the ground. 
feel connected and let's start by going in for those nice slow control five lifting the right leg up high point the toes if you want to make it a bit tougher don't let the leg touch the floor the way down keep pushing the left knee out And five, once you've gone in for those five, you're now just going to reach through, grab that right knee, and just keep pulling that into the chest for that deep glute release. And hold it here. In a moment, we're going to have a bit of time to wake ourselves up, because we're going into my favorite, a rock and roll, but we're gonna try to kick our legs all the way behind our head. That is gonna be the aim. So, kick up both the legs, nice and slowly. You can even go wide on the arms for a second and just go into a little bit of a windscreen wiper. Feet are planted on the ground, and then you're just gonna let the hips drop from left to right, the knees drop from left to right. For a quick moment before we go into our rock and roll where we're going to try kick our legs behind our head and let gravity do its work you might need to shuffle a little bit further forward okay and now we've got the next minute to rock and roll up and down trying to get your legs to go all the way back so do it in your own time you've got a minute here and work with the legs hanging there behind you. You can just linger each time a little bit longer in that hang spot, keeping the legs far back. 30 more seconds with this, doing great. And then we've got a leg down happy baby. I love a leg down happy baby. So let's see if we can kick out those legs. See if you can just let gravity do the work. Just hang, breathe, feel the hamstrings loosen up and then really slowly peel back down till your legs are flat on the floor, one vertebrae at a time. And we're going to have both the knees bent and the feet planted. Let me just shuffle a bit. So. Feet are about shoulder width apart. You're now going to go wide on the arms so that they're nice and straight towards the hips to support us. Our feet are shoulder width apart and we're going to lift up our right heel and you're going to grab the inside of that foot and really pull it hard down to the ground, feeling that in the hamstring. I like to grab the inside of the foot. Feel free to grab the outside or the toes. It's your choice, this is your practice. You wanna to move to what your body tells you to. It wants to be uncomfortably comfortable is what we're going for. And right now, we're gonna now make those little circles that we were doing earlier, but we're now doing it while we're holding onto our foot. So draw those circles with that right foot in the sky, pulling it in different directions. Once you've gone four times in one direction, Go four times in the other. You are using the left arm and the left foot to support you. Those of you who want to try go that extra level, you can go with straight legs here, but that is tough. I'm quite happy keeping the foot flat on the ground personally. And soon we're going to move this over to the other side. So bring both legs down to the ground again, feet on the floor. Nice wide width with the legs and then let's go reach up the left foot you can grab the inside of the foot here or the outside or the toes i like going for the inside and let's draw those little circles again with the foot in the sky using your right arm and your right leg to support yourself and just keep reaching that knee a little bit further down Try keep the shoulder on the floor. <sighs> 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 
really at work, everyone. This is just what we're looking for. Keep making those circles. Keep feeling the deepness of that stretch in the glute. And in a moment, we're gonna go into a regular happy baby. Last couple of seconds. So let's grab both the feet now. Go in for a full on happy baby. Pull both the knees down as hard as you can. And gently just bounce from left to right. Getting in that gentle sway. And soon we're gonna come into a deep squat. So we're gonna rock forwards into a deep squat. And then you're gonna place your hands behind you and we're gonna get in some knee drops. So let's rock and roll. Come into a deep squat however you can. Whether it's a couple of rocks, a couple of rolls. Nice deep squat. And then once you're in that deep squat, <laughs> put your hands behind you, support yourself. And then we're gonna keep ourselves supported here. And I want you to drop your right knee down to the ground and then your left knee down to the ground. So however you can get into a squat any way possible. And now we're tapping the knees down to the floor. This is a real good hip mobility drill. If you are really struggling with it, come a little bit higher and then just go for a little bit of a drop. You can always have your hands on your hips here and you can just get that little knee drop. Otherwise, you can have hands on the ground. Hey, I, got, I can see people doing it hands off the floor, even better. Keeping those arms in line with that sternum. But just go for those nice, neat, neat knee drops. And soon we're gonna go into a bit of a hamstring loosener. So let's now hinge up, just a touch. Soft bend in the knees, grab your ankles. And what I want you to think of here is imagine your chest is locked in to your thighs here. So the closer you can get your chest to your knees, the better. And you can have your hands under your feet or you can keep hold of your ankles, I prefer. And then let's squat down low again. So you're facing up. And then as we peel up, keep that chest as close as you can to your thighs. And we're gonna aim for around five of these, really slow, feel that tension at the top, hold, come back down. Let's go again. Feel that tension at the top, hold, and come back down. Trying to get one in every 10 seconds, come back up. Breathing deep, come back down. Brilliant work. Can we get in one more? Hold that tension at the top. Keep your chest nice and low. Keep those legs straight. And just feel this here. Um, brilliant, okay. Now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna stay in this hinged over position for a moment. Let the arms drop. You can have a soft bend in the knees. And I just want you to grab your elbows, gently sway from left to right for the next minute. Just a really gentle sway from left to right. And we're just gonna enjoy this. Enjoy this gentle ballistic stretch, drifting. And if you can, See if you can take out the small bending in your knee to deepen it. If you're happy with that small bend in your knee, keep it there. Just keep drifting from left to right. Keep this coming. Really working with letting your head fall in between your elbows. Letting gravity do its thing and focusing on your deep breathing. Letting that lower back release in its own time. You don't want to be forcing any of this at any point. If any of these start to hurt, adapt 
change, go in for move, that doesn't hurt. <laughs> okay, release the arms, really slowly peel up, really, really slowly peel up. Brilliant, watch out for head rush, hands on the hips. Just have a moment to compose yourself. Big hip circles, another big hip circle in between. And we're gonna do that standing fold again, just two times one way, two times the other. But we're now gonna do it with a flat back. So, I want you to reach your hands behind you, snuggle the shoulder blades back and down, and then soft bend in the knees again, while keeping your back as flat as possible, hinging over, and working with that tension in the hamstrings, coming down really slowly over 10, and then really slowly coming back up. So it's like a Romanian deadlift where we're keeping that lovely flat back. We're going down over 10 seconds. We're raising up over 10. Ooh, feel that tightness in the back of the hamstrings. That's gonna help loosen up that lower back in return. And then keep the chin tucked when we're nice and level down here, so that you could put a broomstick against your back and it wouldn't roll off at any point. Lovely form from a lot of us. Pull those shoulder blades back and down on this last one. And then stay in this position. And then from here, we're now just gonna bring the arms over the head, hinge over as much as you can, and really pull those arms up and away from the body. Pull, 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 pull. It wants to be a strain, it wants to be hard work. And release the arms, let them drop down. Just hang from left to right again. Stay in that hanging position. Come to the back of your mat while hanging. And we're gonna get ready to come into a tabletop. So crawl forward through the palms, let the knees drop down to the ground. And we're just coming into some lovely cat cow for the next minute. However you want, freestyle it. But I encourage you make it slow. Don't rush it. Keep the biceps facing forwards. Hands are planted, shoulder width apart, same as the knees. And you're carving that line with your nose to the sky. And that nice deep breath in. So our next move is gonna be a child's pose with our arms forwards. And we might even come onto podium fingers to deepen it. And then we're gonna get a side lean to the right and to the left in that child's pose. But we're just gonna be able to relax as well. So we're really focusing on our breathing for this portion. <sighs> Letting our rib cage drop, pushing it away from the floor. <sighs> and brilliant. So snuggle the feet in, go wide on the knees and push back in the hips while keeping the arms forwards, heart to ground, really let it melt down to the floor and let the hips fall in between the knees. We're now just gonna hang here for a minute. Really let the rib cage sink. If you think that you can shuffle the hands a touch further forward, try shuffle them just that little touch further forward and just keep pulling back the hips and focusing on your breathing. Really filling up those lungs. Let's bring the hands onto two little podiums for the next 20 seconds. See if you can sink the chest a little bit lower. Hands on the podiums, chest even lower. How low can you go? And um, brilliant work.
Okay, let's shuffle both the hands over to the right hand side now. Both the hands shuffled over to the right hand side, feeling this down the left body and actively fight against it. You can push a little bit against it with your body and then we're going to switch it over to the other side, let the hands shuffle over to the right, to the left, sorry, to the left. Let them shuffle all that way. Keep pulling down. Feeling that down that right side. And soon we're going to get ready to come into a down dog. And then we're going to go into a low lunge on the right hand side with a chest opener. So snuggle the hands back to the centre. Get ready for that down dog. So first let's come into a quick cobra, push yourself forward, sink the chest low, open up through the chest. Ooh. And really let that nose lift up to the sky. Tuck the toes, left and right. And then we're gonna push up into the down dog. Ooh. And just find your grounding here. Maybe shuffle the feet in a bit tighter so they're shoulder width again. Pedal it out for a moment. Really push through the fingertips, grounded through the feet, and then bring the right leg up to the right hand in a low lunge. Oh. Low lunge, drop that back knee if you want to deepen it, and then we're going to go into that chest opener as well. So right side, right hand, open up with the right hand to the sky. Five reps here. Hand to the floor and then open it up again. And you just wanna be scraping your own body with this. Hand gliding next to my chest. And brilliant. Once you've done five reps, feel free to send that right leg back, come back into a down dog. Hold that position in the down dog again. Pedal it out. Feel the tension in the calves. If you want to make it a bit more upper body, soft bend in both the knees. Really push through the fingers here. And then we're going to think about bringing that left foot up to the left hand in a low lunge in the next 10 seconds. So let's start to bring it up there. Come into a plank. Left foot up to the left hand. And then you can drop the back knee. You can keep it off the ground to keep it a little bit tougher. And then left hand opening up to the sky. While driving those hips into the floor. Aiming for five. Brilliant work. So in a moment, we're going to get ready to come back into that down dog position. So tuck the toes of the back foot, bring the left leg back into the down dog. And just hold it here for a moment. And then we're going to drop down to the knees and cross your ankles and come into a seated position. So drop down to the knees, fun trick. Cross the ankles while we're in the tabletop. Push yourself back onto your feet. And then from here, I want your right ankle in front of your left ankle. So in a cross leg position. Right ankle in front of your left ankle. Staying up nice and tall. And then we're just gonna reach forwards nice and far with your hands, really slowly. So that might be enough for you there. That's perfectly fine. If you feel like you can get a little bit deeper, try and get that a little bit deeper. Breathe into it. You're gonna feel this deep in the hips. We're gonna get the right side and the left side done. So don't worry, we're gonna spend a minute on each. 
And I want you to really focus on that breathing. For every breath out, see if you can snuggle just one millimeter forwards. Again, you might be perfectly happy up here, that's fine. But you want to be feeling this deep stretch in the hips. Focusing on that deep breathing. Managing that uncomfortable, comfortable. Embrace the pain. And brilliant, slowly make your way back up. We're just gonna switch feet, so bring the left ankle in front of the right ankle. Left ankle in front of the right ankle. Sit up nice and tall for a moment. Find that grounding, feel nice and strong. And then take a deep couple of breaths. On the breath out, let's see if we can get nice and low. Slide the hands forwards. And just feel that release in the lower back, in the hips. It's a very deep stretch. Embrace it. Focus on that breathing. Last couple of deep breaths here. See if you can get that a little bit further. While keeping both your sit bones on the ground, that's the hard part. You might find you're peeling off the floor a bit. So really slowly now, peel back up. Really, really slowly. And then we're just going to go into a nice seated side reach. So I'm just going to face on for you. And then what we're going to do here is keep the legs crossed. And I just want you to put your left hand on the ground, chest lifted through the sternum. And then we're going to reach back with the left thumb all the way over to our side body, as far as we can go. And you're going to use that left arm to support you. You may be on your elbow, you may be with a straight arm but work to what feels good with you. When we're in that position, where the elbow is now stacked above your ear, I want you to reach all the way forward in front of you, and then bring it all the way back. We're aiming for five to 10 reps. So it comes out in front of you, and then you go reach it back, keeping both the sit bones on the floor. You're either on your elbow of the left arm or with a straight arm, if you're on the elbow, that's a deeper. So bring it out and then bring it all the way back. Last one. Okay, let's switch it over to the other side. So you're gonna come down, first ground yourself, lift yourself up through the chest, make sure that you're not rounding in the upper back. Use the right fingertips to aid you. You're either with a straight arm or you're gonna come down onto the elbow. And then we're just gonna reach all the way back with your thumb leading the weight, aiming for five, pinning the elbow back behind you, one. Two. Three. Four. Last one. Five. Okay, brilliant work. So this is where we need to pay attention. So we're all sat up nice and tall. A lot of people make mistakes with this next stretch. It's a deep glute stretch. We've done it a couple of times, but it's a tough one to get to grips with. I want you to bring your left foot, left ankle, left ankle over your right knee left ankle over your right knee and then once we brought the left ankle over your right knee you're then going to drop down with the right shoulder to that foot hugging it in getting that nice deep stretch and we're here for 30 seconds 
and then we're going to repeat it on the other side and really lock your body in as tight as you can here as tight as you can let gravity do its thing try keep your back nice and flat try keep your belly button as tight to your leg as possible try keep your sternum lifted and try to avoid it from rounding in the upper back so let's slowly come out of that position and now we're going to bring the right ankle over the left knee right ankle over the left knee so we're in this firm crisscross shape and then you're going to drop the left shoulder pulling it in tight to the body and we're here for 30 seconds again and just wrap that leg in as tight as you can really use your arms to clench it into your body as hard as you can really working with that nice deep glute connection see if you can sink that left shoulder closer down to the ground 10 seconds left Breathing deep. Brilliant, okay. Let's stay in the lovely cross leg position. So just cross your legs, either ankle in front now. You decide. And we're just going in for a nice seated twist here. So I want you to now bring your left hand to your right knee. Support yourself through the upper body with the right hand behind you. Staying lifted in the chest. We're not having to look over the right shoulder. And then we're just going to switch that over to the other side in three, two, one. Nice gentle glide. Really staying lifted in that chest. Really pinning back those shoulder blades. And let's just do that one more time on each. Give it 10 more seconds here. And switch it over. Stay in control, stay mindful of the movement. And last one. A lovely, gentle practice for the rainy weather outside. And let's just go in for a nice little bit of a neck stretch while we're here. Bring the right arm out. And just really gently grab the top of your head aiding it over to the left you don't want to be putting much force through you're still staying lifted through the sternum just really gently and let's switch sides staying lifted keeping that chest up just lightly holding onto the top of your temple and then both hands down to the ground Let's get in some really big, gentle neck rolls, head rolls. Four times one direction. Staying lifted through the sternum. Four times the other. Big, gentle rotations. Nice and slow. Never rush these movements. And then once you've done four times each way, we're going to make our way into a nice down dog onto the mat. So come into a tabletop. And then from the tabletop, we're going to work with just straightening the back of the legs, pushing through the fingertips, making this the best down dog of our life right now. And we're off in three, two, one. And we're going to hold this here for the next 10. Grounding through the feet, pushing through the fingers. Best down dog of your life right now. Activity completed. And then from there, really slowly, pedal those feet in towards the hands, nice and slowly. Take your time. And then when you're in that hinged over position, let the body hang, drift, breathe.
and then from here really slowly peel up into a flat back position with the hands behind the back So you're in a nice flat back position, hands are behind your back, and we're just gonna gently pulse five times to the left, five times to the right with that flat back. Soft bend in the knees at most. And then five times in the center. And then we're gonna reach our arms up and over the head as if they're being pulled away from you after that fifth one. Reach, rolling in the back. <laughs> Holding it up here for five, four, three, two, one. Sitting down into a deep squat. <sighs> and then we're just gonna hang down here for a moment, drifting, keeping that chest lifted. Again, if you've got your feline friends around, this is a good time to stay distracted with them. Come on. Mine's not having it. He's on the sofa just watching. Let's work with that gentle drifting from left to right. And now really slowly, we're now going to think about raising up from the hips, grabbing hold of the ankles, feeling that deep stretch in the hamstrings. So let's grab hold of the ankles. Keep the chest drilled into the thighs, peel up through the hips. Feel the stretch in the hamstrings and then really slowly start to peel up. Reaching your arms to the sky in that big old Y shape. Huge Y shape, grounding through the feet. Tense the bum, tense the core. Two big swooping movements to finish down to the ground and up. We might even make it three today, let's go. One, two, go on, one more for luck. Three, hands on your lower back. Push the hips forwards, pin the shoulder blades back and down. Ah, brilliant work. Happy Sunday, everyone. Smashing session. Hopefully, I'll see you for the next class, which is on Tuesday at 6 p.m. It will be a great one and it will be a hot and sweaty one. It's a pleasure, it's a privilege. Remember, we've got more classes on the YouTube and I really appreciate it if you liked it, shared it and subscribed and then you can get in those on-demand workouts whenever you fancy. I'll see you all later. Enjoy your weekend. Thanks.